Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice cubic equation. x cubed plus 1 is equal to 2 times cube root of 2x minus 1. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. First of all, we suppose that this expression cube root of 2x minus 1 is equal to y. Let y is equal to cube root of 2 times x minus 1 and we substitute uh, y in place of uh, this uh, cube root of 2x minus 1 then this equation will become x cubed plus 1 is equal to 2 times y. And we move this uh, plus 1 to the right side then x cubed is equal to 2y minus 1. We name this equation equation 1. If we take a cube of both sides of this equation, then this implies that y cubed is equal to 2x minus 1. We name this equation equation 2. Now, from equation 1, we subtract equation 2. So, this x cubed, x cubed minus this y cubed, y cubed is equal to this 2y minus 1, 2 times y minus 1 minus this 2x minus 1, 2 times x minus 1. Next, x cubed minus y cubed is equal to 2y minus 1. This negative sign will change the signs of these two terms. This plus 2x becomes negative 2x. This negative 1 becomes plus 1. Next, x cubed minus y cubed is equal to 2 times y. This negative 1 will be cancelled out with this positive 1. And here we are left with negative 2x. Next, x cubed minus y cubed is equal to this 2y minus 2x can be written as minus 2x plus 2y. Next, x cubed minus y cubed is equal to from here we can factor out negative 2. Negative 2 as a common factor and in bracket left x minus y. Now, by using algebraic identity, this uh, x cubed minus y cubed is equal to x minus y times x squared plus x y plus y squared. And we move this uh, negative 2 times x minus y to the left side. It becomes plus 2 times x minus y is equal to 0. Now, from here, as you can see, this expression x minus y can be taken as common factor. So, we factor out this x minus y. x minus y as a common factor and in bracket left, in bracket left, this x squared plus x y plus y squared and this plus 2. In bracket left, x squared plus x y plus y squared plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, from here either this expression x minus y is equal to 0 or this expression x squared plus x y plus y squared plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, from this equation x is equal to y and from this equation we move this plus 2 to the right side. So, x squared plus x y plus uh, y squared is equal to negative 2. Now, left hand side of this equation x squared plus x y plus y squared is greater than 0 and right hand side of this equation negative 2 is less than 0. So, no solution is possible from this equation. So, we only consider this equation x is equal to y. 
Now recall that we have we recall this equation x cubed plus 1 is equal to 2y. Recall this equation x cubed plus 1 is equal to 2y. In this equation we replace this y with x. Then this equation will become x cubed plus 1 is equal to 2 times x. And we move this 2x to the left side. So x cubed minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now this cubic equation is factorable. So we solve it by factorization. We write this x cubed same as this is x cubed. And we split this negative 2x as negative x minus x plus this one is equal to 0. Now from these two terms x cubed minus x we can factor out x. So x as a common factor and in bracket left x squared minus 1 minus this x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now this one is this one is same as 1 squared. So we can write this one as 1 squared and by using this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus d. This expression can be factorized as x times x plus 1 times x minus 1. From these two terms in negative x plus 1 we can factor out negative 1. Negative 1 as a common factor and in bracket left x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now as you can see this expression x minus 1, this expression x minus 1 is a common factor. So we factor out this x minus 1 and in bracket left, in bracket left this x times x plus 1 and this negative 1. In bracket left x times x plus 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. Next x minus 1 times we multiply this x by this x and by this one x times x x squared and x times plus 1 plus x then we write this negative 1 negative 1 is equal to 0. Now from here either this expression x minus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression x squared plus x minus 1 is equal to 0. From this equation x is equal to 1. This is the first value of x. Now to find other two values we solve this quadratic equation. In this equation a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1 and c is equal to negative 1. And according to quadratic formula x is equal to minus value of b 1 plus or minus square root of value of b 1 squared minus 4 times value of a 1 times value of c negative 1 divided by 2 times value of a 1. Next x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of this 1 squared is equal to 1 negative 4 times 1 times negative 1 plus 4 divided by 2 times 1 2 and x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 4 5 divided by 2. So from here we get the other two values of x x2 is equal to negative 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and x3 is equal to negative 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 
2 and first we have already found the value of x1 is equal to 1. So, these are the three solutions of this equation.